Unbelievable. Huh? Ireland How would you feel about that? That's definitely not happening. An Ireland match. 100% not an Ireland match. Should we drink some Ireland match? We're away at a like a couple's cottage. We're not watching the Ireland match. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So tonight me and my boyfriend are going to be staying in the couple's for cottages in West Cork. Um, and I'm going to show you around the cottage. And tomorrow night we're going to stay in the Muckgrass Hotel up in Killarney. Celebrate his birthday because we were supposed to be going to Edinburgh. And then there was a whole situation there that I'm not even going to talk about. So we decided to make the most of it. And you know what? It's actually turned out to be an even better plan, I think, than Edinburgh. So I'm going to take you around the cottage because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll just take snippets here and there the next two days I'm not going to do the whole thing because obviously it's all about spending time together but I will be showing you kind of a fair amount so I'm going to just take you through the place so you come in here first and you have just like a seating area literally a smart TV with Netflix a skybox the whole lot you come in here we got a complimentary bottle of Prosecco as well with a little love heart sweets we have a kitchen I just brought little bits and pieces, I have to put this in the freezer actually. Um, I brought little bits and pieces just to keep me kind of accountable in some way while I'm away. Um, because I obviously don't want to be going too crazy. Um, I brought myself some vegan mince pies for later on if I want something sweet. And just another little few bits. We have a kettle, I got tea bags and all that. Um, our own little kitchen if we want to make anything ourselves. The man gave us kind of a food guide as well of the um, restaurants in the area if we wanted to order. We won't be using any of this here but there's just an extra little bedroom here. Oh shit, a little double bedroom here. So obviously I'd say you can take more than two people. You could probably bring a family here. Then you have the bathroom in here. And uh, they got my name wrong, but it's okay. And this is our bed. We have like a little teddy bear. We have bat robes. And then you come up here. And you have a bath or two. I'm going to be so excited about this. I've always wanted like a big giant bath so like big two people can share. And now that dream came true. We have little candles here. I actually don't think any of us have a lighter. That's the only thing. And we could be lighting candles around the place. Then... Is it locked? You come out here. I don't know how to turn on the light out there though. You have a look. Yeah, that's too scary. Where the hot tub area is, but I'm not gonna go out there by myself because I'm too scared. I'll wait later on when I have company. So that's the place and I will catch up when we're doing something else. So I'm in my robe now and we're gonna go have a glass of champagne. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's so windy outside. It's probably about minus two degrees. And we're gonna go and try and see if we can work the hot tub. Trying to get it working now is another story, but so far it's just so lovely in here. The heating is up like full blast. We're so cozy. So going out is gonna be so much harder, but I do wanna experience the hot tub. Like that's like half the reason I'm here. I've been dying all year long to find somewhere, some accommodation that does a hot tub. Right, oh dear, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm frozen. Yeah, I don't know. There's a little... That's the lever he's probably on about, is it? It looks well, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, but they can turn it on from the bottom. Yeah, if you could just take the hood completely... Can you take the hood completely off? Yeah, of course. Will I help you? I feel bad. I can't be <laughs> Oh! You're okay? Shit. Take the phone. That could happen. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks amazing though. I'm afraid, are you gonna jump straight in? Oh man, it's so cold, nothing like. Okay, let's do it. We're back in from the hot tub. We got shriveled up like prunes and decided to come in for a while and just take a rest, have a few drinks and watch some YouTube. All of the accommodations here come with um, a smart TV. We don't agree on much now on what to watch on YouTube, so the only thing I could think of was Molly May and Tommy because he, the only thing he ever watches with me was Love Island and that's over, so this is our bonding time. Good 
morning guys so last night was absolutely amazing so i woke up very early this morning as per usual um, and i decided to come out and just sit on the deck and just kind of watch the sunrise while we still have the advantage of being here because checkout is like 12 o'clock and i'm actually going to miss the place so much it is absolutely worth every single penny if anyone is ever looking for like a getaway in car look up the cottages for couples they are absolutely amazing this is only one of like i think about 10 or 12 cottages that they have for me i definitely love to try out the treehouse next because the treehouse would have been my first pick but it was completely booked out i'm actually very lucky i even got this book in because we only booked last week they think of every single tiny little detail like anything that we could have possibly wanted was there the hot tub was very easy to use i'm actually gonna have I'm gonna hop in once more, I think, before I head away because it'll be a shame not to. If you're wondering why I'm a, a crazy colour, it's because I had to do my tan last night. I didn't have time to do it the night before we headed away because I was working until 10 o'clock and I was just exhausted by the time I got home and I had to get up early for the gym and all that kind of stuff. So I did my tan last night because we are going to Killarney tonight and that's the second part of the video. And um, we're gonna stay in the Muckrass Hotel, which is meant to be absolutely gorgeous. We got ourselves a little junior suite just for the occasion and we'll probably head out to Killarney as well for a couple of drinks. I'm definitely gonna make an effort now to just do more kind of staycations and stay around Ireland. I know it's better anyway if you're a carbon footprint, but like just even just to appreciate the country that we live in because it's just, I'm out here now in the nature having a cup of tea, like there's no place like Ireland. We filled up the big double bubble bath. Obviously I didn't film that because I didn't want to scare you all for life. I might take advantage of the whole um, property and just get a good few Instagram pictures in a minute because like you'd never have this privacy of home to get pictures up against like greenery and white walls and stuff. So I think that's a plan. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit here and I'll have my cup of tea and I'll catch up with you in a little while later. My mindset regarding training while I'm away is basically to keep myself somewhat accountable but not actually be like set to my meal plan if that makes sense. Like I'm not going to come away for a few days with my boyfriend and eat my set meal plan that I've been prescribed obviously. I'm doing a little bit of like flexible dieting but knowing that I'm going to go over my calories like that's just a given really. But the thing is I could either go over it by thousands or I could go over it by hundreds and it all depends on what our day looks like and what I actually want because when you're in a healthy mindset with food you can have it all in front of you and give yourself that option but when you're in a good headspace the thing is you might not even want it and you can just honor when you feel full well having to feel like you need to eat everything because you might never get it again I was having a bit of trouble earlier on in this week with my food I felt restricted and I had a blowout and it still happens every now and then kind of frustrating because it didn't happen in so long and it was just kind of took me by surprise but in those times when I do have a blowout I have to just look inwards and see what I'm doing I see the conversations I'm having and why everything led to that because it's always emotional definitely for me anyway if I'm emotionally restricting myself or stress about my food or about how I look then blowouts and I don't like the word binge but binges will happen before I came away I made sure to just really center myself and get back in the game and it's shown now all day yesterday I was literally just breezing through the day eating intuitively having my little sweet treats but honestly like I had a packet of biscuits last night if it were a day where I said oh I'm I'm off now it's a cheat day or it's I'm off plan or I'm away on my holidays I would have eaten the whole packet just out of spite but like I had it last night I was kind of popping in and now having one or two cups of teas maybe just having a couple of biscuits like a lot less than what I would have eaten had I had that kind of restricted mindset and that took like two days to turn around I know now it might take longer for some people but but if you keep on top of your kind of relationship with food and understand why you might feel like you want to eat like way past your point of fullness there's reasons for that and those reasons are typically that you're not being very nice to yourself so just take that time to reflect that's what I had to do because I obviously wasn't being very nice to myself for a couple of days and it led to a blow and blowouts then lead you to feeling more guilt more shame it's an awful cycle but recognize that as a cycle and break it as you go along i know there's people who are really far into eating disorders and stuff who probably laugh at this advice because it's very basic and it sounds so easy but for a lot of us we can easily turn it around if you put that effort into yourself Now and it's time to leave so 
it's sad but I'm excited now to see the muck grass and see how that looks. I think we're gonna stop off and get him something to eat because there was no breakfast food there for him. So I'll check in with you when we arrive at Killarney. only said um, about two weeks ago that we never get upgrades because we always see people getting free upgrades and we, I, I'm talking so fast so I'm so excited we came in and um, checked in we were due to stay in the superior suite anyway we said that we'd kind of do something fancy and he said oh I'm really happy to let you know that you've been upgraded to the um, executive suite this place is like a miniature house you come in like literally that's, I don't even know. We actually planned on going to Clarny. I'm not leaving this place at all. I'm staying here for the night. This is our bathroom. We have a little toilet in there. We have a walk-in shower, if I can get it open. Oh my holy shit. You come in here. We just have unnecessary extra beds. A couch and a seating area. A coffee machine, a kettle. Little welcome chocolates. White wine. Oh, did you already start? Thank you. We've already jumped in the bed. I'm just gonna insert a clip here because I was way too excited earlier on. We have our own little seating areas here as well. This place is absolutely insane. Oh, I love wine. Dear Miss Hogan, oh, so they knew already. I would like to welcome you to the Muckross Park. I hope you will have an enjoyable stay with us. Please do not hesitate to contact if you require any assistance. Oh my god, like. So this place came with like little chocolates and luckily enough, um, I headed into Holland the Bardo a while ago and I got this like little vegan selection box of like fancy chocolates. So I'm already after eating a couple now. The only thing is that all of them look the exact same so you don't know what you're going to get. And there's one that's lovely, um, well there's two actually, there's one kind of hazelnut one, tastes a bit like Nutella. There's another one then that has like little, um, like little almond salted caramel bits in it. And then the other three flavours taste like ass. So like it's basically just like Russian roulette with chocolates and you're just hoping for the best one. I need to charge my camera now because it's actually going dead but... I'm gonna make a cup of tea and just enjoy this place for a little while before I start getting ready. Just back from the Vitality Suite there now. Couldn't take you down, couldn't take a video of it, but like I wish I could because it was genuinely just the most breathtaking, beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like I saw pictures of it online, but it didn't do it justice. I walked in and I looked at my boyfriend and I was just like, once you walked in, it was just like so warm and like we got talking to a lovely man from Limerick We went out to the um, outdoor hot tub like it was it was gorgeous Like I'm, I was thinking I might go down again in the morning. The plan now is to chill out for another way longer I've been sipping I've been sipping wine on and off and I actually feel a little bit tipsy But what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out somewhere nice to go for dinner head into the city and have a bit of wine Maybe head into Tesco grab like a couple of drinks to bring back here and just enjoy the suite because like realistically how often are we going to stay in a place like this like we were upgraded and we were so lucky to be upgraded and I think we should take full advantage of that like I feel so so lucky right now I'm so grateful like we've been to Clarny both of us have been to Clarny a couple of times like we can head out in the town any night enjoying a suite like this and taking full advantage of it doesn't happen all the time so we'll go out we'll enjoy our dinner have one or two drinks out and then come back here and just have some fun by ourselves I'm really really excited Um, it's only five o'clock now so we have so much time left still we haven't eaten since 
this morning really. I had my breakfast when I woke up and then I had those chocolates. I was all plans to go to the gym here. They have like, they said that they had like a little fitness room but like, do you know what? I didn't feel like it, to be totally honest, I did not feel like it and that's okay. Like I'm not gonna force myself to go, like I usually want to go and when I want to go, I will and if I don't, then I'm not gonna go. And I'm just like literally just taking full advantage, like this place is just insane. I might pop like a little bit of makeup on when I'm heading out because do you ever get that when you put tan on your face and you get all these like different like patches on your skin? I always get that after tan which is okay because like when you put on your makeup it's fine but I don't really like to wear foundation and heavy makeup that like too often. I'll take you out with me for dinner, see what I get and then we'll come back here and we'll get a little bit drunk and I'm very excited. I do want to just say that throughout the day now today I've taken moments to stop and say thank you. About three times when I was down in the Vitality Suite, I just stopped and just took a moment and was just really, really, really thankful for the situation that I was in because the universe will give you more of something if you let it know that you're grateful and that, that you want it. You have to let the universe know that you want a certain situation, otherwise you're not gonna get more of it. And I'm grateful for every other day too, but like this is really special, especially because I was really stressed last week when Edinburgh was cancelled and I didn't know what was going to happen and obviously I'd kind of lost out on money um, that was poured into Edinburgh and like for us to be able to skip out in Edinburgh and still be able to have such a lovely couple of days away like we're so lucky we're really really lucky and I know that right so this is what I ended up wearing I got this in Oxfam in Cork about kind of two weeks ago um, for about four hours and I came in the back I see you creepy man. It's just a pretty little dress. Um, I'm wearing that with just like tights and boots and this little hairband that I got. I know that I'm not buying new clothes but I haven't really put a ban on shoes or accessories. Reason being is because I very very rarely buy shoes. Like I'll get shoes maybe like once or twice a year literally. This is very zoomed in. I only buy shoes like once or twice a year. Me not buying shoes isn't gonna kind of make much of a difference. Whereas with clothes I used to buy new clothes constantly. So I do allow myself to get like shoes if I really need them or really want them. Um, and accessories because they change up the outfits that I already have and they're just so small they're not really making much of a difference to the environment. And again like you wouldn't really be buying accessories that much. I don't wear any jewellery. All I wear really is like maybe like at the moment I really like hairbands and you're not going to get those kind of hairbands in the charity shops not that I've seen anyway yet I've gotten like pretty clips and like old kind of fashion hairbands but not these like ones that I really like if you think that's kind of cheating on my little fashion man then that's okay that's your opinion but for me that's where I kind of have put my boundaries so just like clothes um, and I will allow myself to get like shoes if I need them like if I need runners for work or if I really really like a pair of heels for a night out or whatever. We are gonna go to the Ross Hotel which I think is kind of stupid to be honest because I wanted to go out to Killarney to get a dinner. He got a recommendation to go to the Ross which turns out to be another hotel and I was kind of thinking like if we're gonna go to a hotel we might as well eat in our own hotel but anyway and um, they do have vegan options so at least I'll enjoy that and I like no 100% that I'm eating vegan food. That's what we're gonna do now. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get drunk. If it's time is right. It's very masculine drink. <laughs> so this is the curried cauliflower. I was a bit unsure because it was saying like that there was apples and raisins in it, but it looks amazing. And that comes with vegan naan bread, a bit of rice, and chips. I'm probably gonna eat his onion rings as well because they look hungry. Yeah, so basically these were 13 euro, but the reality is that these, they were not cheap. The price of the cheap, but you know, the environmental and the human cost of these jeans was not cheap. Was not cheap. Okay. So basically, you're looking at about 15,000 litres of water to produce something. Just like one pair of jeans? Yeah, so that's basically, roughly, about how much the Irish household, an average Irish household, makes weeks. Right, I and mean, how many pairs of jeans are people buying? Yeah, exactly. Pop, so yeah. add it all up. Yeah. So you want us to do what? So basically just buy less, buy higher quality, wear your clothes that you already have, buy second hand. Woohoo! Yeah. So they have now had the Citizens Assembly that they paid for, they have had youth striking groups come in previously to this and um, give demands and now the youth assembly as well. There is no excuses left for them. 
they think that they can get away with what they're doing, but they need to remember that we are the next voters. I was all talks about getting drunk and then I spotted this, so I think I have a better idea. Can I just say how proud I am to be a young person of Ireland today? Like watching all these people just stand up and like shout about things that I'm so passionate about and that like all of us should be way more aware of is just such a good feeling because when you hear about climate change and you hear about everything that could possibly be happening in the next like 20, 30 years or even that scary, like it's scary when like the most people in your direct circle don't want to react to it, which is fine, like I'm not saying that everyone needs to think the exact same as me, but sometimes it does get to me where I'm like no one or really seems to be doing it enough like and even I don't think I'm doing enough sometimes yeah so it's just amazing seeing so many people get on board with this new movement like and I really do believe that we're going to tackle it like that we're going to get on top of it before it's too late and like some people might disagree with that but that's just what I believe and that's what I'm going to stick to believing because I just feel like why believe the latter you know if I'm already doing enough and I already am educating people in the ways that I can what's the point of me thinking cynically. I'm filling up a gigantic bathtub behind you. I'm making the most of this sweet race, but I felt like I was filling this up and I am here talking to you about climate change and I feel very hypocritical because it's huge and it's a huge, it is a huge waste of water because we're not doing it to wash ourselves, we're doing it to relax. I'm not gonna have any more bath for 30 days. Now I would have a bath a week or twice a week, just personally, right? I know I should have, probably caught that down but it's just something that I've always loved and something that I've always done so I think that this tub right now is probably the equivalent of the amount of baths that, I'd ha that I would have in the next 30 days and it's probably probably actually less so that's going to be my way of kind of like making sure that I haven't had like a crazy increase in my water usage I'm such a weirdo I know but like I'm just jumping into every single challenge ever because I do feel a little bit bad I'm looking at my make really Larry. at the same time we do get to enjoy ourselves too like and I do a lot of other things like I don't buy new clothes and vegan or whatever anyway I don't need to be explaining myself I'm just saying it that's my own little challenge now another challenge like if I do any more challenges I was all planned on getting drunk I was acting like a crazy bitch earlier on like to the camera being like and later on I'm gonna get drunk it's gonna be a party came back here and made Barry's tea and I'm like drinking my tea now with rich tea biscuits lovingly really really impressed with the late late show and I don't watch much telly and I don't think a lot of us do I'm gonna get into a bathing suit and I'm gonna hop into this little bath we probably can't even hear a word I'm saying because I literally am balancing this on the bath not safe whatsoever might have like a cup of tea on the side a few biscuits wish I could bring the television in here there's no telly in here that's all here I am complaining there's no telly in here like this face is literally the size of our house and has way more than it should have It's the next day now. I didn't even say goodnight last night. This whole vlog is just gonna end up running into each other by hopefully find some way of making it work. Today's the last day of the vlog and we're actually gonna finish up with my niece Mia's christening. For now, we're gonna go down and see if we can get some breakfast. Hopefully they do something nice for me. I have this top from, I think about three years ago. This new skirt is from Oxfam and these shoes are pennies. So like the actual outfit itself is second hand and we're going. Way too long as it is. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next.